Yep, I'm sweating already this morning. It's been in the process of moving our Freedom Ranger chicks out of the our brooder box into the brooder stall, and we'll show you what that show you the results of that coming up next. As they say down in the bayou, it's been a few minutes since I showed you the meat birds. <laughs> Translation is, it's been a while since we uh, showed you our Freedom Ranger chicks. I'm not even sure if we did um, a video on our newest batch of meat birds uh, when we got the, the chicks. So you'll just have to forgive me for not knowing what videos we've put up and what we haven't. <laughs> I know we've done it before, but anyway, uh, here they are. Uh, of course, I'm thoroughly unprepared to tell you exactly how old they are, uh, but today's the day we took them out of our brooder box, took the walls down. I've used the, the walls as we do every time to plug up holes in the brooder stall so that they can't get out, but Oh, they are having a time. Look at them jumping and flying. <laughs> uh, they're good and feathered out. You know, this time we weren't so uh, uptight about the heat lamp. I do have an infrared heat lamp that we hung over them for the first couple of days. But you know, uh, we decided to kind of go easy. We, we monitored them closely to see how they were doing without the heat lamp. I mean, it is, it, 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 well, it's September now, but I mean, it was August in, in Mississippi. So we did have a couple of cool nights and I would come out here to, or Patty would, to check and see if they were too cold without the heat lamp. I think, and just as a reminder, the way, the way that you tell if they're too cold is they're all balled up together, all huddled up real close, sharing body heat. And if they're too hot, they're spread way out in a circle away from what they perceived the heat source would be. If the lamp was on, it would be that. And when we came out, even on the cool nights, they were evenly distributed within the box. So I think it's like 75 of them. And um, so they, they were warm enough. And the result is they feather out quicker that way. Um, if they have to, if their little body responds to the cooler temperatures to push those feathers out. And so we're very happy with the way they're looking. They're, they're all healthy looking. There was one bird that I thought, we haven't lost any of these, I don't think. Uh, there was one that I thought acted a little strange when um, I took them out of the box, but, and I actually propped it up on that perch up there. And no, that perch is not for these chicks. That perch was up there when we still had the Billy Felders in here. As you can see, we've made them a temporary arrangement. See them just outside the pen there? I've got a tarp spread up for a rain shelter. It comes up underneath the edge of this stall, so the rain uh, more than likely can't get to them unless it's really a driving rain. I've got them a nice long perch. You can see it out there between the slats of the barn. Uh, we're going to come up with a more permanent arrangement for them, but I, I had to get these chicks out of that brood box today and they are loving it they're just exploring and taking dust baths digging down through the fresh pine shavings we put in here and of course some of them are, they were out of feed overnight so they're they're like we're hungry where's the farmer with that dead blasted coffee can full of good stuff so anyway uh there's just a little update on our freedom ranger meat bird flock uh, we're going to be selling some of these, hopefully before processing time, because I really, I, I, even though we've got that chicken plucker, I really don't look forward to having to slaughter 75 birds, so, you know. Anyway, all right. Well, there you have it. Uh, the chicks are having a ball, enjoying their uh, extra space. Hey, are you having any experience with freedom rangers so what's your favorite meat bird let us know down in the comments and by the way if you if you haven't subscribed appreciate it if you do that and don't forget to look us up on social media we're on facebook 
Twitter, Pinterest, and we even have a podcast called Alderman Farms Radio available on iTunes and Stitcher and at podcasts.com. We're Alderman Farms everywhere except iTunes and Stitcher. We're Alderman Farms, Alderman Farms Radio. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>